Today is episode number 1,189. Go ahead and write down the topic title for today, Remembering the Good. This is such a good subject. So excited to talk about this because I was doing some pondering yesterday and came up with this title, Remembering the Good. I wanted to share it with you guys today. And I, th I think so many times we we should forget whether it's you know some trial, a disappointment, maybe some hurts we've been through, some failures. You know, we we should forget like a lot of times what a lot of people think we should actually remember, like it, our victories, right? Our successes, the good times, because it's in these these failures, these setbacks that we realize that we actually go and look back, that we're actually glad that we, you know, that that really became our testimony, that that setback was a setup for a greater comeback. And so you've got to remember those is it, along with the good times. Like, even though that it seemed like that those were the times that were very tough, like you've got to take time, like time is the currency of the earth. You've got to take time to remember the good times, the victories, you've got to celebrate like what God is doing in your life right now. Now, if you don't believe in God, you call it the universe, whatever you want to call it, your life right now is being blessed. Like it is celebration time and it would do you good if you guys would review God's goodness over your life on a regular basis. Like simply thinking about all the major successes in your life, even some of the things that seem to happen overnight. Like I know, I know for me, for sure, that when I first met my wife, Jamie, I knew that I was too blessed to be stressed right there at that time. Now, of course, it's not perfect every single day, but you've got to remind yourself how you fell in love and how you eventually got married. Like, thank God for your spouse. If you guys got a spouse, go ahead and put a one, one, one inside of the chat. Thank God for your spouse. Thank God for your family. And remember what God has done for you, like not to you because Remember, things happen for you, not to you. So when we learn to recall the good things that have been done over our life, it's going to help us stay in this, this attitude of faith to remain grateful. And I talk about gratitude all the time because what you think about, you will bring about. So it's hard to go around complaining when you are constantly thinking about all of the good that has been done for you and to you. Because sometimes we take a lot of these things for granted. I think even for myself, having certain things in our lives, we definitely take for granted. Like some people don't realize that it was God at work in their life. It was God who set that up. You know, the, the uh, one man I heard was driving around in this crowded parking lot, pretty funny. And he was actually trying to find a space. He finally got so frustrated that he said, God, if you'll just give me this parking space, I will start attending church every single Sunday. Car backed out right out of the front row and the frustrated driver actually pulled into the open spot. He looked up and said, God, never mind. I just found one. See too often. I think that we forget that God is the giver of all things. He is the one who causes us to get the lucky break. He is the one who causes us to be at the right place at the right time. So if you agree with that, go ahead and put an amen inside the chat box. And so you need to give gratitude. It's not something that you created. You simply have shown up, been obedient. You put in that four letter word called work, W-O-R-K. Remember that the good, because in fact, I think that we're focused consistently on all the things that are not going on right in our lives. You know, all the things that we don't have, right? I want to get out of this job. I want to get out of this marriage, right? I want to, you know, I'm, I'm sick of my kids, sick of the boss, sick of the business, you know, all those kinds of things. We've got to be thankful and grateful for everything that has happened to us up until this point. And the things that are about to happen to us in our lives, like things are about to explode, your business, your trading, whatever it is that you guys are doing right now, it's going to happen for you. And you have to believe that. So you've got to remember all of the things that have brought you to this point right now which is then going to predict over the next two, five, 10 years of your life, the things that are about to come. And you know, the disciplines that you practiced yesterday with this and the month before and the year before is a reason why you are where you are today. So guys, I want you today to remember the good. And this is my call to action for you guys. 
this very money. I hope that you guys have an amazing day. We will see you guys on the next session. If you like the message, go ahead and put an amen inside of that chat box. I'm grateful for you, and we will see you guys on our next session. Have a good day, everyone.